This is Kathy from Kathy's Jewelry and Crafts coming to, do, to you today with a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own leatherette or leather patches using the X tool. In a previous video I showed you how you know I go to Amazon and I buy the le leatherette patches already um, cut but it's cheaper of course if you can just buy a sheet of leather and or leatherette and just make your own so that's what I'll be doing today I'll be using the X tool creative space program I'm using my MacBook Air and um, I'm buying a file off of X Etsy that has the patch design already done I will be using their DXF file but you can use the SVG also so let's get started so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move that out the way and then I'm going to show you my um, the, the file that I get off of Etsy and the owner's name is Keys Creations Digital. It was $4 and you get all of these patches and I really like them because they have the dotted line so when Xtool engraves it it'll look like you know it was, it was those are stitch lines okay all right so once you purchase then you'll get a download button I'm not gonna go over that but in your Etsy um, area so then you could minimize that pull back up your X tool creative space and over here is my downloads and I'm just going to drag over here the DX file, DXF file that I downloaded from Etsy. It's going to take a couple minutes, and not minutes, seconds. And then what it will do is it will put all of those patches on here. Okay. So when you click away from it, you can click on the individual file that you want. Okay. So I just want this one right here. So this does not hurt the file. I'm just going to delete everything else. So I'm going to take all of these off. Oops, I don't want all of those off. So I'm going to have to do this one by itself. And this one by itself. And then I can do these here. Be careful because sometimes it leaves little strays behind and that will the X tool will go walk walky if you leave those there it will so it'll think you want to cut all of that and I don't okay so make sure you don't have any extra lines anywhere so once you have what you think you want you select it all and move it I move it over to the top corner and then I um, look at the size it's 88.9 by 44.5 that's a little bigger than what I really want so I'm gonna make it a little smaller whoa I don't want to do that let's just to undo and I need to select it all before I try moving it and then I'm gonna move it a little smaller that's good right there 57.7 by 28.9 all right I want to make sure I still have my stitch lines and my cut line. Now I'm going to add some text, just one word. You have to click. And then right here is where you type. And I'm going to just say believe. Oh, you got to take the hello out. All right. But I want believe to be all caps. So and I did out. learn I before E, except after C. But I keep spelling right. believe wrong now, in this you can video. See my word, Please excuse my me. Box, so we're gonna Thank make you. That a little smaller. Oops, going the wrong direction. All right, there we go. And I'm going to actually take the little lock off so that I can make it longer, stretch it a little bit, as well as a little smaller. Let's see what that looks like in there. I think that's too tall. So I'm going to make it a little shorter. And maybe a little narrow. Let's see what that looks like. I think that's going to be perfect. And I'm going to put that right in the middle. All right. So now we have a stitch line. We have a cut line. And we have engraved line. But we haven't told X tool which one is which. 
So let's click on the word. I want that engraved, so I'm going to click on that. That will change it to engraved. I'm going to click on the cut line, and I want that to cut. And I'm going to leave the stitch line the way it is because it's at score, and that's what I want. I want my stitch line to score. And that's perfect. So now I will go to my settings. I always use cork desk pad to do leather or leatherette. I will just, uh, do user defined parameters because I want to set my own and I want this and I want my um, let's see what we're on I think we're on cut so cut I want a hundred power and four speed and my engraving I will also I will leave it there 40 and 180 because that's um, has worked for me that's the one that comes with the X2 creative space for cork desk pad so I'm gonna leave that one and so everything is ready so now I, I need to do is highlight it all or you could do control a if you're using a MacBook and then I'm gonna go to process and I'm gonna frame it Framing just allows you to see on the X tool exactly um, where it's going to be. All right. So you, this dot is usually up here. And you want it to be in the center. I just want to show you how that goes. On this screen, it tells you how long it's going to take. Two minutes to... Um, to engrave and cut this out. So basically it's going to engrave the word, it's going to score the little stitch lines, and it's going to cut out the leather. All right. So I'm going to click frame and I'm going to capture it with a different camera. So once I get that set up, I'll come back. Okay, I have my piece of leather. I'm at the X tool now. And I'm going to show you, I put it right underneath the laser head. I kind of center it, just go by my judgment. And then I'm going to frame it to make sure that's okay. Um, let me press frame, frame on the computer. All right, and then I'm going to press this button. And it'll show me exactly where that's going to go. So that's a little off. I may be able to adjust it right here though. Let's see. Okay. Now I realize that patch is going to be way too big for what I want. So I'm going to adjust it on the computer and I'll come back. Okay. I adjust it. Let me try it again. Framing and see how big it was one more time. That's much better. So I think I'm going to go with that. I will um, hit begin on the computer all right it's ready to start and the first thing it does is score it and actually it's engraving the word believe first and then it'll um, score it and then the last thing it'll do is cut it out now it's scoring it you might probably can't see it too well but it is scoring it. That's why the little jerky movement. It's almost done scoring. It was only set to take less than a minute, so sometimes creative space say less than a minute, and it can be five minutes, and then it'll say five minutes, and it'll be less than a minute. So hopefully one day they'll get that perfected. So now. It is cutting it completely out. I'm trying not to look into the laser. 
and this is veg tan, veg tan leather so this is actually real leather and so it is done just that quickly let's see see if I can take it out so you can see I don't know why it went blurry and kind of went blurry all right and now it's a nice little patch with our score lines on it as you can see let's see and the back is a little dark but I will um, use some awesome cleaner from the Dollar Tree and clean that off and then I'll put some kind of um, either heat and bond or some kind of patch cement on there to put it on whatever I want it to go on this is another one I did earlier this is smaller and same thing I could put some um, tape on it um, and it would um, not you know get as dark but I could just brush it off too all right so that's what I have for you today I made two patches and um, so I have lots of leather here I go to Tandy leather which is local and buy lots of leather so if not you could order sheets online I will leave some um, affiliation links underneath this video. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and like all my videos. Thank you. See you on my next video. Bye.